Magyars, and Bohemians. During this period, Central Europe had no real nations. Bohemia and Poland were Slavic heartlands, and Hungary was occupied by Asiatic Magyars. The Magyars were Asian horse-riding nomads of the steppes of today's Kazakhstan. Seeking a new homeland, they raided Central Europe, and under Prince Arpad of the late 800s, they occupied Hungary. Just 25,000 Magyars defeated all the Slavs by using speed and shock tactics. Then they started raiding Germany, Italy, and France for slaves and riches. For decades, they sacked monasteries and ruined farms, torturing and killing in the process. They were so fast, they could be attacked only when weighed down with their booty. Eventually, the German Emperor Otto I defeated them in 955. Under Prince Giza, uh, the Magyars made peace, adopted Christianity, and settled down as nobles ruling the Slavs. In 1000, Pope Sylvester II crowned Stephen I Magyar, King of Hungary. Stephen's reign brought peace and prosperity. He was later canonized. By 1200, Hungary was a strong nation, but in 1241, the Mongols swept in, devastating the country just as the Magyars had once done. Poland. The Polish tribes, united by Miesko I around 960, became Christian. His son, Boleslav Ch uh, Chobry, tried to unite all Slavic lands, including Bohemia, Moravia, and Kiev, but later the Poles had to retreat. Though the church and German influences brought the Poles together, the provinces were disunited, and weakness was to prove significant when other countries tried to take parts of Poland. Nevertheless, Poland as a Slavic nation became established at this time. Moravia and Bohemia Northwest of Hungary and southwest of Poland were the Slavonic states of Moravia and Bohemia, now the Czech Republic. Moravia was established by Duke Moimir in 830, who freed it from Carolingian domination. During the 800s, Bohemia was part of a Moravian empire. The Germans tried to reclaim Bohemia from the Moravians, but there was a Slav revolt in 874. Moravia was reunited under Sviatopluk, Sviatopluk, who made peace and expanded the country. In 906, the Magyars destroyed Moravia. Meanwhile, around Prague, a Bohemian state was developing. One national character of this time was Duke uh, Walensias, known for his charity. Bohemia took over Moravia in 1029, gaining recognition from the Holy Roman Empire in 1086. Many German traders moved in and expanded the local economy. The peak of Bohemian power came under Ottokar II, who took over Austria in 1251. He lost it to Rudolf the Habsburg in 1273. Bohemia was overrun by the Germans in 1300, but it remained a distinct country linked with Moravia.